if you're like me, uh, you're probably wondering, like, where the hell did J-Rock curse? I call him J-Rock. Uh, where did he come from? Because when you looked up his stats and you looked up a lot of his film, he's a six-year veteran, uh, but he hadn't really done much and hadn't really been a, sol a solidified starter in this league um, until last year where, you know, we all had a down year last year where no one really played that great, man. I, I really wasn't impressed, too impressed by the film other than the fact that he was versatile enough to play some corner at, at times. I like that about him. He can move. But uh, in this game, he flashed uh, in the game versus the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. He flashed. Uh, let's take a look at some of the plays that stood out to me, man. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe before we even start. But here we go. Now, Cooks isn't a joke, man. Cooks knows how to get open. He's a lot like uh, Antonio Gates back in the day, man. He just hasn't forgotten. He's a veteran, but he hasn't forgotten how to get open, man. He's fast, tight end, big, and uses his body, as you can see right here. They call this a pass interference. They didn't call that stiff arm on Cooks, though. But either way, we ain't, we ain't worried about that. I just wanted to pay attention to the way Curse fought through the ball there and was able to keep his eyes up and, and pretty good coverage, in my opinion. Um, this was a legit interception from where I stand, but obviously you're going to call me biased because I'm a Cowboys fan. But either way, however you look at it, on film, he gave me something to look at, so I appreciate that much of it. Let's take a look at this play, though. Uh, uh, Dorrance Armstrong just derails Herbert. I know Herbert feels that still to this day. We were getting to him as far as uh, hits and, and hurries and pressures. And uh, Curse, you know, he, he doesn't do much on this one. He doesn't have to do much. He just floats over the top and comes down and makes the tackle like he's supposed to. But that goes in. That registers as a tackle for a loss for him, man. Um, on this play, you'll see Parsons, man, was giving Storm so much work, man. His get off was causing so much confusion. You see how he, you know, twists his feet up there because of the way Parsons gets off. And Curse, again, blitzing up the middle, causing a pressure in the pocket, causing Herbert to step up, allowing uh Parsons to flatten out on this on this uh, rush and derail Herbert. Um, so Curse was all over the place, man. He played in the backfield. He was he was playing great in coverage. You know, he was doing everything he wanted him to do. Very good in run support as well. I didn't get a lot of his run plays as uh, for these replays, but he played very solid in, in run support as well. Um, as I said, you know, Herbert still feels that. But uh, big game ball goes out to Curse, and 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 mainly because he's a guy that none of us was expecting to be the one of the main difference makers on this defense and it seems to be because i was even asking last week like why is he on the field over cox now i know why i really do uh he's he's versatile he can move covers pretty damn good and uh he will lay the boom as you can see here man he can hit so i'm excited to see what we do with curse um you know hopefully he maintains this level of intensity uh, because as you can see, you know, he has, he's a ball hawk with great length, great size, you know, hitting ability. And, uh, he seems to want it, man. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't let up. So, uh, shout out to curse. I had to give it to him first. We're going to go down a list of uh, players on defense and offense, but I had to give it to him first because he was the most unexpected, man. Maybe not the best this game, but the most unexpected. Thanks.